Hello YouTube, it's Jonas Weefield here again for another review. This one's going to be a bit different. It's going to be kind of one of a kind review here. Actually, yeah, it is going to be one of a kind. And I'm doing this review on the NES Godzilla Creepypasta. And, well, basically, if you've ever watched Creepypasta, you know that it's scary. Well, this one, yeah, it, it is kind of scary, especially if you're a Godzilla fan. Uh, yeah. It'll kind of disturb you. But, um... Yeah, basically it starts out with a guy buying a cartridge, and he, he finds out something is wrong with it. His name's Zachary, by the way. Your character's name is. And, um... Stuff starts going weird. Like, it starts out with glitches, like, you know, something that anybody could deal with. And it later escalates to... Like, for example... Jupiter has a name, it's called Jupiter obviously, but in the Creepypasta they call it Pathos. And a new monster start appearing, and this was a game that was made in 1988, Godzilla Monster of Monsters. But there are monsters appearing in 2000, that were made in 2000, like Orga for example. And he does all his moves and stuff like that. And, um, so... His level progresses, well actually, it's in Pathos. He uh, sees a strange face instead of the base logo, which is the last level for any planet. And he sees it and he's like, oh, I gotta go there, it's where the base is. And he goes and he encounters a demon called Red. Now, I know what you're thinking, it's only an end game thing, but no, to him, it affects him in real life. Like, this demon's really trying to kill Zachary. Not just Godzilla, Anguirus, um, Mothra, or the other monster named Solomon. And we'll get to him in a minute. And basically, it just goes on to where stranger stuff starts happening, like levels and 16-bit graphics, I guess I'll say. Better graphics than the NES was capable of. And, well, he... There's this thing called Face, right? Ask him all the questions and stuff. And some are disturbing, like... Would you ever want to kill anybody? Does, do people deserve to die? And the others are like, do you, do you like dogs? And, um... Yeah. So... That's it. And he actually gets a new monster, Anguirus, which any Godzilla fan knows who Anguirus is. The spiked armadillo. Yeah. That's Anguirus, and they. He plays as him a lot. And this is where he finds his 16 bit graphics. He goes underwater, and there's a splash effect. And also, the transparency effect on the water is more. If, if you've ever played Sonic the Hedgehog for Sega Genesis, you'll know that the water in Sega Genesis is, is transparent. But if you've ever played, like, Super Mario for the NES, you'll know that it's not transparent. And he keeps progressing, fighting bosses, stuff like that. And he keeps encountering Red, who he has to run from every level or so. And he keeps going on with questions. It gets sort of repetitive, but it's still pretty good. And, uh, well, second to last world, Extus, he gets a monster called Solomon. Or actually, let's, let's get back to Entropy, the third last world. He, um, has to beat a whole world of Mothra, the biggest one, in fact, as Mothra. And the reason for that is Mothra is the worst character in the game. And they take out Godzilla and Anguirus. Anguirus doesn't come back, but Godzilla does in Exodus. But he beats it all. They get to Exodus. Exodus. And, um... Another... He gets asked for a new monster gun, and he accepts. And that's when he gets Solomon. A demon of his own. Well, a good one. To fight Red. And, um... This time... Instead of the red face appearing, a cross appears. 
and he has to go to there in the prayer for peace from the original Godzilla movie starts playing and that he sees the angel of his old girlfriend who died but he doesn't know that he doesn't know that until the last world and he goes and he stares at it but then red comes and uh red kills the angel and Godzilla gets free and he says to Red, you're going to pay. Well, Zachary says to Red, not Godzilla. He says, you're going to pay. And that sets Red off. And he goes to the final world. And he goes to all those hellish stages. Heck, one, he calls it the organic stage. Kind of makes me sick because everything looks so realistic. And it's just sick and disgusting. I don't know. It hurts my head. And I don't get sick that easily. But, yeah. That does it. And... Then he finally gets to Red and he finds out it's not a chase this time, it's a fight to the death. And Red injures Godzilla, kills Mothra, injures Anguirus, and Solomon defeats Red. But then Red comes back and he kills Solomon, Godzilla, Anguirus, and Mothra. But then he gets this new monster called a Caseus. And basically, it's a huge fight down to the death, and Caseus eventually wins, killing Red. And that's when he finds out that it was his girlfriend, the angel, who saved Caseus and Zachary. So, in the end, all monsters except for Red and all the other bad ones are revived. So, Godzilla, Solomon, and Gyrus, and Malthra, and Faze who actually died in the last world, are all revived. And that is the end to the NES Godzilla Creepypasta review. Goodbye, YouTube. See you next time.